Hi families, as most of you have noticed, there are some math questions on the homework that cover topics that we haven't touched on yet in class. So what I've told your students to do is if you get to a problem and I haven't taught you how to solve it yet, just do the best you can. See if you can figure out a strategy. See if your parents can help you figure out a strategy to solve it. There's um, one strategy that I want to go ahead and give you, the parents, right now that we haven't given to students yet. And that involves so, um, solving addition sentences where one of the sums is two digits. So on this week's math homework, there is 8 plus 44 is one of the problems. Um, we will in second grade eventually get to where students are doing this in the traditional algorithm where you learn to line up the digits according to place value so that it would look like this but oh no not like that so that it would look like this but but that's a way off ways off before we get to that point so before we try to get them to do something that's as abstract as lining up the digits we want to give them a concrete or a pictorial way to think about the problem. So I'm going to show you what we would do in class and then how you can translate that to the home environment. So here's the problem we're focused on again, 8 plus 44. A way that we would have kids think about this on a concrete way is to think of it in terms of how many tens and how many ones are in each of the sums. So for 8, we call these units or ones when we're talking about place value. So this is a concrete model of eight. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little units. So now I've represented the first add end, eight plus 44. Now I want to represent this add end, 44. This is called a rod. It has um, 10 little units all connected. So it represents 10. And 44 has four tens. So I would show 10, 20, 30, 40. I've got my four tens, and then I would need the four ones right here. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. That's a really concrete way to think about what 8 plus 44 would look like. And then we would have kids start with the sum that's the largest when they're counting. Since addition has what's called a commutative property, which means you can change the add-ins in, in any direct and um, put the add-ins in any order and the sum is still the same. So I would start, I would think about this problem as 44 plus 8 because it's easier to start with 44 and add on 8 more than it is to start with 8 and try to add on 44. So I know this is 44. I don't need to count it again. I've already got that amount in my head. I'm going to count on with these 8. So 44, whoops, sorry, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. We also ask kids to double check their count. So I'm going to do it one more time. I know this is 44. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. So I know that 8 plus 44 has a sum of, let's see if I can write this upside down, 52. That's a concrete way. Go right over there, buddy. That's a concrete way you can solve this problem, but since you obviously don't have rods and units at home, even I don't have them in my home, um, you can also solve the problem by drawing a picture. Now in kinder and first grade, students were able to draw dots to show each add end because we were only going up to sums of 20, so it didn't take too long. But to try to draw eight dots and then 44 dots would take way too long. That's not an effective way to solve this problem. So I'm going to draw what I just built with the rods and units. So I'll start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's my eight ones. That's my first add end. Now I'm going to do the second add end of 44, and I'll draw a picture representation of the rods and the units. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44. There's my picture representation of 8 plus 44. And now I'm going to start again with the larger add-in because it's easier to add on if I start with the larger add-in. So I know this is 44. I don't need to count it again. 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. I'm going to double check that. 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. So uh, pictorially, I've discovered that 8 plus 44 has a sum of, ooh, 
Where's it back? Sorry. Writing upside down is challenging. Has a sum of 52. So that's a way that you can help your child solve um, addition problems that have one or two add-ins that have two digits in them. And we will definitely hit this topic in class. It's coming up in future units, and we'll find multiple ways that students can solve the problems. But I think this is the way that would make the most sense to them right now. Let me know if you have any other questions. Thank you.